Julius Brett in 1924 observed that bridged bicycles, where the rings are less than eight carbons in size, do not have bridged head carbons that are part of a pi bond. So this molecule, well, it's not possible. It doesn't exist in real life. And this molecule, the same is true here. It isn't possible either. How about this molecule? Well, there is a pi bond in the system. The rings are less than eight carbons in size. But critically, the pi bonds carbons are not bridged head carbons. So this molecule is possible. What about this molecule? Well, there's a trick here. It's not a bridged bicycle. It's a fused bicycle. So this molecule is perfectly possible. Why does this happen? Well, let's take a look at one of these forbidden molecules and think about it a little bit more. We're going to take the pi bond and think about it as its components, namely the two p orbitals. What's the spatial relationship between these two p orbitals? We're going to look down the critical bond and imagine it as a Newman projection. Now it's much easier to see the problem for this molecule to form. The two p orbitals are not parallel to each other, and to form a pi bond, they must be parallel to each other. So that explains Brett's 1924 observation.